citizens of the reject nation. I bet we're not the two faces you expected to see today as Greg and Aaron Alexander have been working their way through the recent Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies produced by Michael Bay, but it just so turns out that they really know the one we're about to cover today quite well. So that leaves you guys stuck with Donatello and Leonardo today as we catch up with TMNT 2007, the animated motion picture. Andrew, are you excited? Fossa Nova. Ha <laughs> ha. Chevy Nova? Excellent. Ah. <laughs> Wrong movie, but, yeah. you know, we, we endure. Guys, leave a like on this video and uh, also subscribe. Hit the notification bell to find out when there are more juicy reactions for you to, to ooze into your life. And uh, as always, we like to thank the folks at Prepper for cutting down these, for shredding these highlights. Uh, it's, a, it's tough work, and we very much appreciate them for it. I'm really loving these you references. You haven't picked up on the metaphor yet. Oozing, so then Greg shredding. is Raphael, Aaron is Michelangelo, and Olivia is Splinter. We had a whole conference to figure this out. But uh, hey, speaking of conferences, if you want to have one with us, come on over to patreon.com slash the real rejects, where you can also sync up with your own copy of TMNT and enjoy the full thing, see everything that doesn't make these reaction highlights. It's a good time over there. Andrew, Andrew. you got anything else to say before we hop into the sewer? Cowabunga, I'm so excited to watch this. I can't wait. Heroes in a half shell, roll the bumper. Yes. Bob and Harvey Weinstein, let's give a round of applause. Prolific producing team. Oh, boy. I didn't even realize they worked on this. Oh, yeah, that's a cool logo. Four turtles. Four brothers. Oh, sweet. Loving the way they're moving. Reborn in the sewers of New York. Is that the Bowery King? after the great renaissance masters <laughs> and trained as ninjas yeah they battled many creatures and foes before defeating their arch enemy the shredder yeah buddy okay so he's been defeated but now a greater evil is poised to destroy their very brotherhood an evil born three thousand years ago oh oh snap what could it be a warrior king named Yalto led a brotherhood that fought side by side with one purpose. To conquer all the kingdoms of the world. Of course. What of other course. purpose is there? <laughs> I heard Raul Julia when you said that of course line. As they left a trail of destruction behind them. Oh. Damn. As they marched on Mordor. This is, I was going to say, it's <laughs> giving me a Lord of the Rings vibe. It is not this day. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. This is impressive. This looks like one of those gateway to the mind's eye videos. Learned of a constellation known as the stars of Kikin. Every 3,000 years, the stars would align. Dragon balls. Opening a portal to a world of unknown power. Oh, no. Destroy the One Ring. <laughs> Brotherhood was turned to stone. No. Thirteen monsters were released into our world. Damn. Ooh. Huh? All right. They're the Maximals. This is just every property. I'm really digging a lot of the tracking shots. Yeah. And the monsters that were unleashed continue to plague mankind. Wonder who's gonna stop them. Just have to wait and see. It's okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Don't worry, Andrew. I got this. We got this. Yeah. We're Donatello and Leonardo. <laughs> we appreciate the generous donation for the continued protection of your village. Oh damn. <laughs> After all, the jungle can be a very dangerous place. So I remember in Predator. Is it part of like the 
the hench warlord starter pack that you need to be eating a knife or an apple with a knife. I was going to say, that's <laughs> automatic. You're, you're a villain when you're doing that. I remember that in Dennis the Menace. Ah, uh, of course. Swiss Blade Sam, I believe his name was. Well, if you're not too busy, remove it! You just got here. You don't have to yell. <laughs> Ooh, Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Attacking from the shadows. Might be the predator. Definitely. Oh my god, turtles versus predator? That'd be amazing. We need to write that. Oh. I, I just remembered. I, I left this door and my wife, she hates that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's so cool. Enhances the creature like yeah. aspect in yeah. any way. I mean, I've seen them in the shadows before, but blending into the environment like that because they're the same color. That's awesome. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles using the shadows. We are far away from New York. Oh, don't worry. We'll get there. Dang. Take that and restore your city. Last Ronin. <laughs> there. That's where I saw him. Thank you. Is, this Is that April? Yeah, it's April. She's wearing yellow. Do you know the ghost? <laughs> he wasn't always a ghost. Well, that voice sounds familiar. Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I'm going to assume you knew that innately. No, and I heard it and before. just I heard it and just went buffy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> It's a long way from the city to just drop in. <laughs> nice. Actually, I was already here on business. What kind of business? Ancient artifacts. I'm a tomb raider now. Too much time on his hands, has his heart set on a collection of 3,000-year-old statues. <laughs> Uh-oh. Our strange crowd hasn't been the same without you. How bad could it be? Donnie's probably got everything. Control. What kind of a sure. leader of bandits sure. is him? I'm got Johnny. this. The computer on. Have you plugged it in? Yeah, that would help. Oh, let's <laughs> do tech support. <laughs> Don't just lean on your keyboard, though, man. That's 101. Well, if he's doing that, who's keeping an eye on Mikey? Mike's gotten into the um. Is he pizza <laughs> delivery? Or oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could have seen him doing pizza delivering too. Cowabunga! Cow! But this. This is in line, too. I just love that he's effectively dressed in a costume of himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a protective version of his own visage. Kind of remind me of Ghostbusters 2 at the beginning when they're dressed kind of as themselves. What's Raf doing? Sleeps all day. Well, what's he do all night? Oh, uh, yeah. Kicks asses and runs out of bubble gum. Greg is so cool. I like how they have to put the, the text in there as if we don't know. <laughs> it's for the noobs, and Ah. I mean this in a good way. This looks like a video game I would like to play. <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> good work, boys. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. And we didn't make a lot of noise, too. I grabbed a toaster! I love your work ethic, Tommy. It's an inspiration to us all. God, that guy's is, voice was is, in like is everything. It, is for that a Jim while. Cum Jim Cummings? Okay. Maybe. Your guess is as good as mine, Andrew. What's going on, guys? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh! With the chain. Ooh. Looks like it's just you and me, Shaggy. He's <laughs> <Just> gonna. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> You're in the wrong line of work. <laughs> I love when they play hard to get. That's a cool, like, it's more fun outfit. that way. Yeah, it's hotter that way. I do like the design of that suit he's wearing. It's kind of like the Mewtwo armor. These people need me more than my brothers do. That's never true. Never abandoned family. Yeah. Your brothers need you, Leo. They're lost without you. Leo! Whoa, Whoa, he pulled a Batman in front of her, too. That's impressive. Uh, 
<laughs> Cowabunga Carl. Just going with the... Now we see where are they came up with Arnold Schwarzenegger's name for Carl in the new Terminator film, there Donna you, Fate. There was you from go. this. There you go. The unofficial fifth <laughs> turtle. Arnold. <laughs> ha! Why skate a half pipe when you can skate a sewer pipe? <laughs> yeah. My thoughts exactly. Ah, uh, dude, I'm loving the cinematography. This is taking me back to my skateboard days, man. <laughs> I want to bust out the board now. Dude, I, w I was always playing Tony Hawk Ooh. on N64. One of my favorite games of all time. Yes! Yeah. Oh, this is so fun. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Ooh. That was awesome. <laughs> dude. Flawless. Dang. Got a sewer cave. He. Mikey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understood that reference. As good as it gets, right? Definitely. Definitely. It's, it's actually um, <laughs> all the presidents. We man. will get comments saying, are you kidding? You didn't know that? The vigilante known as Night Watcher strikes again. I remember how they used to feel busting up crime syndicates. Sure, they had a bunch of guns, but they weren't <laughs> like these guns. Yeah. yeah. Some tickets. Forget about them. Get on with your life. Concentrate on your work. Yeah, your career. Spoken like a true has been. <gasps> I suppose you think the Night Watcher's some kind of hero. <laughs> well, sort of. You think fear is the best way to accomplish things, but you're wrong. First of all, you're not the Batman. Game you speak of doesn't exist anymore. And second of all, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You know, it's interesting seeing Donnie take up the Leo role right now. Yeah, he's got a big mantle, Andrew. A lot of responsibility. You must learn to be strong when they are weak. If you don't learn to recognize this, then all hope is lost for our family. Oh, family man. I love Mako, dude. There was a film that he was in called uh, Taking Care of Business with James Belushi and Charles Grodin. So good. Got to check that. It was J.J. Abrams' first written film. Ooh, taking note. Where are you, Casey? That is old school. Casey. Old school cell phone. Where you at, CJ? A lot of old school phones. <laughs> I'm standing uh, on the dock with a priceless statue and no delivery truck. It's, it's broken. The clock. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if it starts going off now, it's not going to help you. That is a very cool structure. Is this place a museum or what? You're telling me you've never heard of Winter's Court? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. They're into everything. Real estate, technology, pharmaceuticals. That's a they good must sign. be the good guys. They are definitely the good guys. Just make sure you don't touch anything in here. Break all this stuff. Ah, uh, it still hurts. <laughs> oh, uh, Christ. Oh boy. Please tell me that wasn't you. It was the crates. So technically, it wasn't him. I want to ask you before I go, if I could take one last look. Oh. It'd be great if Leo was in there, but he's not, I doubt. I believe this is the one they call General Aquila. It's actually Aguila, Aquila. but that was a good try. Aguila and the Bee. These statues may appear to be only stone, but they're like family to me. Is that Patrick Stewart? It's Patrick Stewart, Andrew. Okay, then. Ooh, dude! Ah! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> just stay near the, stay away from the stuff you can break. I know it's not real, but it's still. I know. Yeah. It still gets you like. My heart seizes up. Feeling tension. Come to kill me. Could you make it fast? I've got a shareholders meeting at 10. I'd rather miss it. Ah. Uh, the building like elevates. If we had come here to hurt you, Ooh. we'd be hurting already. The Foot Clan and I have come yeah. to kill you. Yeah. I was about to say, is that the foot? Well, it's not the hand, Andrew. That is how they came up with that idea, though. <laughs> I'm sure you knew that. Oh, Koi, enlighten me. I have some friends coming to town that I'd like to roll out the red carpet for. Some ancient friends. Bring them to me. And how will we know these friends? Don't worry. They're impossible to miss. There are 13 of them. They're monsters. That narrows it down <laughs> in New York. I, I assume. <laughs> it's been a while since we saw those guys. <laughs> Ugh. 
a very sinister belch. That actually was a pretty creepy way to reintroduce them. Yeah, they've been lurking all this time. Don't let me catch you calling the cops. What? Yeah. I love that he's just like chain Spider-Man mixed with Robo Batman. Uh -huh. night school's in session. Hope I'm not disturbing class. Hey. Oh, no, Casey. <laughs> I got this one covered, pal. Thanks. Ooh. Ah. You may have everyone else fooled, but you haven't fooled me, Raph. Yeah, well, guess what, pal? Ah. Raph Man v. Casey Jones, Dawn of Justice. I think they're missing is the rain. Yeah. He's trying to get away. <laughs> And that guy looks like both Flint Marco and the guy who shot Uncle Ben. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's funny. I think that's the look they were going for. What is it? Performance art? Oh, <laughs> don't get it. Always. Supposed to do. Sit around, wait for Leo to come back and save the day. You got your New Yorker turtle too. We were talking about this off camera. I love it. The criminal element of this city may be guilty of a lot of things, but being quitters ain't one of them. <laughs> you know, I, I don't even care about Leo anymore. I hope he never comes. I hope he never makes another film. Oh. Sweet. Don't worry, Andrew. He's going to use these things for good. Definitely. I would never guess this man is evil. Patrick Stewart. He can't be. Arise, Name one time. Brothers. Arise. Uh, Prince of Egypt. No. Pharaoh. It, recently. All ye generals, wake from your stone slumber. Oh, no. Trans-Latin American. We, we got a little Leo on here? Yeah! yeah. They the, say humans can't survive in the wheel well. The king has returned. They never say anything about a turtle. Whoa. Nice. Little perspective. It's Mission Impossible, this shit. I was going to say Captain America, like in Winter Soldier, but that works too. Also Captain America, Winter Soldier, whatever you want. <laughs> that was smooth. Like the ocean under the moon and the emotion that I get from you. You got the kind of love that could be so smooth, Andrew. Or else forget about our enemy. <laughs> So caught up in my own world, I forgot about everyone else. Now you are much stronger. Mm, you've grown, become independent. Because until you can act as one, you are forbidden to fight. Oh, what? I've missed you, Leonardo. Mm. I've missed uh -huh. you, too, Father. Oh, Daddy. Hey, welcome home. It's like my name's Night Watcher now. Hey, Leo's back. Better go say hello before he leaves again. You're just ah. hurt. I'm like dreaming, aren't I? No, Mike, uh. you're not dreaming. <laughs> oh, good. I have nightmares about birthday parties. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Tears of a clown. This Night Watcher character's come into the neighborhood like some kind of vigilante showboat. And the Night Watcher was the only guy to pick up the slack. Crime never took a break. You did. Uh, care awfully deeply about that. Hey, Don, you're so smart. Why don't we have jetpacks? Yeah, that's good, Mikey. I don't even trust you with a driver's license. <laughs> See the way this guy behaves? <laughs> uh, I mean, he's done okay so far. Oh, someone's cranky. He's cranky today. I almost thought he was going to say crane. <laughs> Crang, I mean. You smell that? It's like a monkey cage up here. Whoa. A monkey cage. Oh, uh. damn. Putin is just getting the snot kicked out of him. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Bat gorilla. Ah. You think we should help these guys? I'd rather enjoy the show. Can we stop talking? Ah. Uh, is Leo's not allowed to fight, is he? I, I mean, no, that's the directive he was given. We'll see so. how he applies that. Off on the wrong foot here. <laughs> Get it? The, the foot wrong plan. foot. Wait, the Shredder's dead. Who are you working for? <laughs> but is he? Go get real jobs. A little help, oh fearless one. Uh. 
Oh, ah. no. Like I said, too easy. <laughs> So many Whoa. cartoon spleens in peril, I've noticed. That is insane. That is a very cool shot. Yeah. This is why we need jetpacks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with Mikey. Hashtag get them jetpacks. No. Oh, that reminds me of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 when the sh Super Shredder it comes down on him. Do you remember or Secret of the Ooze? Have I seen Secret of the... I don't know if I've seen... If, I, if I've seen it, I do not remember uh, Secret of the I, I was going to say, I hope I didn't spoil it for you. It's okay. It's the greatest ending to a Turtles movie ever. All right. Go, Ninja. Our entire audience just groaned. Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. Go. Ooh, yeah. What y'all got? Rap. Rap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> turtles are back, dudes. <laughs> uh, I give us a 10 for style. Is the building going to collapse? A uh, 2 for stealth. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought they were setting it up for that. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, this could have gotten much worse, all things considered. True. We made a deal, Karai, and I expect you to honor it. And what is your name? <laughs> Craig! Show these fools how a true warrior acts. We do not need any help. I trust my family more than I trust you. Ah. Uh, now micromanage them. They will help you gather the remaining 12 of these abominations so we can finally see our birthrights fulfilled. It's going to be quite a party. Sounds like this is going to work well for you in particular. Weird. I mean, first the foot, then that hideous monster. Yeah, it looked like <laughs> your mom, dude. Cereal is just called cereal. Yeah, we gotta watch the product placement here. Of course, it's like Repo Man. Well, the first movie was Domino's. <laughs> oh, good morning, my sons. I would love to hear some Splinter songs. I would too. This is the most charming part of the day. I'll be watching my stories. <laughs> what does Master Splinter watch? I want to know. Probably likes the movie Wilfred. <laughs> you mean Willard? Willard. There you go. Leonardo, I am most disappointed in you. <sighs> we cannot return to the surface to fight evil if we continue to fight each other. How can I be expected to there do so? Are no excuses when you are the leader. Do not question Master yeah. Splinter. Wayne Enterprises. Can't believe he's a bad guy in this universe. Yeah. Dude, Batman versus Ninja Turtles, though, excellent. I still haven't seen it. Oh, Andrew. It's one of the best. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Warriors are doing a pretty good job, actually. <laughs> Whoa. It's clobbering time. Yeah. Whoa. These are like nightmares. Yeah. I'm taking them to the SCP. <laughs> Ten down, three to go. Don't just stand on the Aztec calendar like that. Or the Mayan calendar, whichever one's the end of the world one. Dang, April honing her martial arts. Hey, Casey. Raph, meet me on the roof, okay? What is it? You know what the roof is, don't you? <laughs> it's the top part of the building, but that's not important right now. An amateur cameraman, and I do stress amateur. <laughs> this cameraman as, sucks. As if we couldn't tell. <laughs> really is good animation, though. Whoa! Come on! I agree. It's like the animation isn't the most, like, obviously modern or complex, but the way they're using it is really effective and evocative yeah. still. Well, that was one of the things that turned me off from seeing it originally, but I'm, I'm 
it's pleasantly, surprisingly enjoying. I love it so far. And the cinematography. Ah. Ah. I hope you had monster insurance. A monster last night? No, you kind of failed to tell me about that one, buddy. <laughs> you do know I only have a wooden bat, don't you? <laughs> That's plenty. Yeah. You're Casey Jones. And we're chasing a bat bat, so the pun sets itself up. What? I thought they were history. I mean, they're living history. And now we got walking statues. You got a plan for those? Uh, yeah. Walking statues? Those statues look... Whoa! Ah. Oh, nobody! Uh, yeesh. Witnesses. <laughs> Watch out! Whoa, oh, no! No, don't take them. <laughs> Some people just can't take a hit. Just the police. You on the roof. Put your hands behind your uh, it's really cool yeah. like saber tooth detailing there. Oh, oh no. Oh, sleep gone. What happened to Raph? Uh, I don't know. He's unconscious. I'll be right there. Later on they'll use that to plug out of the matrix. Whoa. Me sort of stone. Take this to the lab and do some investigation. Looks South American. That's your department, April. That those statues you collected for that Winters guy were shooting these things at me and Raph. It's all your fault. Three thousand years ago, some great warrior actually found a portal to another dimension. The greatest warrior. <laughs> the energy from it gave the warrior eternal life, but it also turned his generals to stone. Oh, do you think that's Patrick Stewart's character? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. <coughs> Should have seen that coming. This has Winter's name written all over it. Double. How do you figure that, Donnie? Because this has Winter's name written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> that's very smart of a villain to put his name on something like yeah. that. If you've got something you want to get off your shell, now's the time. Yeah. But I'm not going to stand here and debate Splinter's direct orders with you. Fine, then. I quit. Nah. Go to shell. You know, having the writing on the dart is almost as smart as Peter Parker having his name on the camera and the Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man. Uh. The lizard <laughs> discovered it was him. I'm like, that was brilliant. Let's finish it, and you yes. will finally be free of your stone prison. But if the curse is broken, we will no longer be immortal. Do not question my command. And you're lucky oh. to be alive right now. Are they going to disobey him at some point they're gonna turn good and then get regular jobs and live amongst new yorkers i think our brother has planned to betray us oh. the 13th monster must not be found ah bury it oh. they're playing my song does sound like a little like the matrix now slapping the bass Oh, is this the thirteenth monster? It's probably a cat. It's a cute guy. Yeah. Okay, that was different. Yes. He's like the animated version of Salacious Crumb. Truly ah. a monster. How about a snack, little fella? Catch! Whoa. <laughs> it's concentrated habanero peppers. <laughs> Take everything. I'm not even looking. Go. Oh, Why is everyone got such a hard time believing I am a good guy? Uh, I just saved your life. Yeah. Just love that this guy is still talking in the background. <laughs> This oh, right that's such an iconic shot. Yeah. Let's go. We got some ha. issues to work out. Oh, it's on. Oh. Like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Huh? 
Look at these little camera movements. So I'm gonna give you one chance to just walk away and stop this vigilante nonsense. And do vigilante stuff as a team with us. Time to teach you a lesson. Now we've got our Batman v Superman uh, rainy shots. Yes. Hit him with the sound waves. Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I noticed you got quite a temper. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's one of his defining characters. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ow. There's nothing like repairing a relationship than fighting and beating each other into submission. That's a life experience we yeah. all should have someday. But the fist fight that all, ends in all bonding and healing. All you have to do to healing. end it, though, is say Martha. Of course. Ooh. Uppercut. That? What? Ah! Bonk. You can't leave home and come back expecting us to fall in line again like your little soldiers. Yeah. You're impatient and hot tempered, and more importantly, I'm better than you. Ooh. Oh, no. I'd have to disagree with you on that one. Ah. Dang. <laughs> round one fight. Or round two, I guess. Ooh. Wow. Sweet. Oh my goodness. Nice. Well, handheld flourishes and stuff. So, winner gets to be the leader, right? Yep. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> Snapped him. Jeez. Do it. Kill him. Kill your brother. Do it. That was a great fight, though. Yeah, man, I was gripped by that. And there was so much emotion behind it, too. Forgot Conflict. I was. Forgot I was in the room, kind of. <laughs> now uh, I kind of wish Batman v Superman felt like that in the fight. <laughs> what do you mean, Andrew? Oh, I know. It's it's agreeably I, I a perfect still, fight. I, I, oh oh no. no! I still love that movie, but yeah, wish I would have felt more in that moment. Oh. oh. God, hell of a time for Raph to just run off. By the time our brother discovers this turtle is not the 13th monster, it will already be too late. Interesting plan. Oh. Ah, yeah. oh, see? When it counts, man. You weren't wearing all that gear, you could have caught them. No! I know why you chose him now. While at times you may not be my favorite student, it does not mean that you are my least favorite son. Oh. You are strong. That. Passionate. And loyal to a fault. These are the merits of a great leader as well. That's a lovely sentiment. I messed up big tonight. Winter the wise. <laughs> they took him. Yep. It's okay. This is your Agent Coulson moment. All right. We need Casey Jones. We need April. Let's get all hands on deck. Yeah, let's get the whole team. We must return to the surface to take back what is ours. We must go out of the shadows. Ooh. So intricate. I like this, like, steampunk South American aesthetic. Central American aesthetic. This is the director's cut of the Lion's Gate main bumper. <laughs> oh. So many pop punk jams on the soundtrack. Yes. Suit up. I got it on my last. Nice, day. April. April. She looks like she looks Kill like Bill. The bride. How would you know, Andrew? Never seen it, but I've seen what the character looks like, John. You can't go trick or treating. That is a sick mask. Uh, oh, babe. Thanks. You go trick or treating with me this year? You've got to be kidding me. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. Is that Kay? That's Casey, yeah. 13th birthday party? Uh huh. Oh, but you don't understand me. Uh huh. Oh, no. You know, it's interesting seeing the different family conflicts on both the good guys and the bad guys. Yeah. 
It's also interesting just whizzing past all of the cosmos. Well, they said one day every 3,000 years, right? Something like that. All the planets go into retrograde and fuck up your life. Oh. It's an ancient 3,000 year old sky beam! We have to find that 13th monster. It's time to end it. No. Oh, cool. Our time is just beginning. It's time to end you, brother. You sound like Megatron. Whoa. Look at April getting in on it. Yeah. But we did see her She's training. Down. She's thrown down. She's a Tomb Raider now and a martial artist, among other things. This is a cool tracking shot. Yeah. Got to get you a one -er. You know who directed this shot, right? Who? Alejandro Inarritu. Yeah, Alejandro G. Inarritu's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I would love to see that. All that natural light, boy. Front door's open now. Two minutes for high sticking. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Whoa. From pop punk to nu metal. Oh, we like guys, give me another 20 minutes. I'm having a good dream. Yeah. Let me recharge off some of this cosmic energy here. He's got new katanas. Yes, katanas. Excuse me. Andrew. I mispronounced Culturally it. Culturally insensitive. How dare me. You're going to need these if you're going to lead us out of here. I'm going to need you too. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see Brothers you, brother. Brothers reunited. I must have hit my head pretty hard. I'm... <laughs> Seeing giant turtles. Yeah. We know what you're up to, Winters. Is he really surprised to see th th things like that? I must return all 13 beasts, or our curse will continue. And that is a torment I can no longer bear. Then you should yeah. be put out of your misery. Uh, yeah. Not you guys. Join us, Foot Clan. Swear your allegiance to us, and no harm will befall you. The Foot Ninja. Huh? It's not without honor. We work for Winters, not you. Oh, damn. I mean, we're probably going to get annihilated right now, but we work for Winters. Oh. If you please, they can defeat them. They are a team. <laughs> Let's send them back where they belong. Let's go. Nice. Wow. Oh, and they're paired off with ones that match. Come to dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Use every sword. You know, you're immortal, and you made a stone. It, 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 like Mikey. <laughs> you should join us. Eh? No, thanks. I'm good. Got the, the Neo. Are you all right? We must do this more often. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. I'm yeah. with you, Splinter. Hurry with that last monster. Yeah, I'm sure my man Casey's got it all under control. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Nah, Casey saves the daisy. They would be more concerned about the 13th monster. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Nice. Woo. There's some teamwork for you. Back to Dimension oh. X. I know they didn't go there, but I had to throw the reference in. Foolish creatures. We are immortals made of stone. Hey. Without the final monster to break our curse, we will never be stopped. Funny you should say that. Wrap them in paper. Special delivery. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scoots right in. That was very well timed. I like it. Ah, wowie. Ah, uh, back to your physical forms for but a moment. Or your organic forms. Wow. Sky beam. Not that I wanted them to interfere, but I'm surprised no police converged on that location what? where the big sky beam was going. Uh, hey, watch the hair. Ah. <laughs> oh, ooh. Oh, hey. hey there. We 
will have further business together. The kind that <laughs> involves familiar faces from your path. Shredder! Oh, good. Shredder! She doesn't mean... Shredder, Bebop, Rocksteady, Krang, Baxter Stockman. April, I've had my eye on you for a long time. I knew it. <laughs> uh, will you marry me? That you'd be the one to help me find my way home. And thank you, brothers. Uh, oh. Dang. Whoa. Interesting. Wow. He's one with the force now. He is pure essence. The Night Watcher retires. Man. Oh, look, the TGRI secret. Hey. Oh, straight. Oh, my God. We've got relics. Oh, my goodness. It is in, in, in oh, universe. Oh, and, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the, the light, the thing that helped them go back in time. Oh, there's the Night Watcher. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure that's oh. the helmet from... It's either the first or the second movie. My uh, can I get rid of this, too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I say that goes up on there. I oh my the god! Stalker should wear that. Uh, those Easter eggs on that wall, huh? Let's go. We are ninjas. We strike hard, defend, protect. No mercy. Yeah, hey, I was gonna say strike first, no mercy. That's why we'll always this is uh, where Johnny Lawrence learned to jumping off the buildings. That's right. I love being a turtle. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> buddy. Cowabunga says it all. Woo! Not bad. Ah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And then <laughs> what happened to Lord Fishburne? I guess Raphael just bust into the booth and was like, I'm narrating this shit now. Was that Lawrence Fishburne? At the very beginning, I think Oh, so. my God. Not, not doing the voice of Raphael. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know, but I didn't even. But yeah, picking up everyone else's voice. I must have missed that one. Sounded but a lot like him. No, you know, this was really good. I mean, first of all, the cinematography, the animation, the score. Very, very well done. I was really like, just from a filmmaking perspective, just really engulfed into it. Yeah. But I actually really enjoy. Oh, Klaus Bedelt loved him. Sure. Pirates of the Caribbean, the first one, uh, and then sure. Hans Zimmer took over. Um, but I really <laughs> enjoyed the inner conflict. I'm obviously, you know, whenever you get a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles storyline, you're going to get the inner conflicts of the family dynamic. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. course, that's just standard routine. But I thought, like, you know, for something that's been done so many times, I really enjoyed the whole thing about him going to Central America to become a better leader. Because that's how, I mean, Leonardo has always been my favorite. I, I love all four of them equally, but maybe it's... Everyone's maybe it's a Maybe it's because it's right. the color blue, I don't know, but Leo's always been my favorite. And I never thought in the films, at least, um, the earlier ones, uh, specifically the first two, the 1990 and 1991 films, I didn't Casey think... he was Chris Evans. It, oh, it's Chris uh, Evans. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was Freddie Prince. I was like, it's not sounding like Freddie Prince. Um, um, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I just didn't. Oh my god! Oh, Kevin he Smith? was the cook. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Damn, I was surprised That's awesome. I didn't catch that. Um, <laughs> oh no! Nice. But I didn't think in those first two movies. Oh, and Z Zhang. I promise uh, we'll get this point out. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne. Hey, Larry Fish. Yeah, but in the in the first two uh, films, I didn't think that uh, they did a and Nolan North, John yeah. DiMaggio. Oh my goodness! All these voice Kevin talents. Michael Richardson. All these voice talents. D Baker. Yes. So many people. Billy West. Yeah. Um, I I wasn't the biggest fan of how Leonardo was utilized in terms of the leader in the first two films per se. So I I I just love this whole idea of him going to Central America to become a better leader. Uh, to, you know, to help in terms of the family dynamic and to be the the turtle we all wanted him to be. So and then you know the way Raphael was just felt that he was more of an abandonment towards the family and just yeah. didn't want to you know go along with that. And then. The juxtaposed to the position of the winter side, where it's like they're having their own inner conflict family side. Just, I thought that was really interesting the way they they did all that. But what do you think of the film, Gianizio? I I quite enjoyed it very much. So I agree with pretty much everything you have said up till this point. I mean, yeah, this was 
a really lovely kind of fun reminder that yeah just something like that like there's i feel like there's a a lot of solid turtle media out there and this was something that was obviously not super long Mm -hmm. kind of compact but also never felt rushed and it always felt in the spirit of at least what i associate with the ninja turtles but i like too that we're kind of off in a side pocket universe or something that doesn't feel like it's you know i'm excited for the new movie because there's so much turtle lore and, and recognizable characters um, and I'm sure aspects of this, you know, are are still encompassing of, of various other turtle media. But it was cool to kind of see something that was sort of existing on its own terms. And that, yeah, hones in on those classic elements of them as a family, but also has a pretty, I think, neat turn with the villains. Like, I love this whole, like, it looks like you know, pretty much like a Sauron scenario startup where it's <laughs> like, yeah, this all-powerful warrior and his unstoppable army, you know, finds the key to immortality and then... The turn that comes by the end I thought was great because you have Patrick Stewart and you have the fun of like, oh, he's playing a villain. Awesome. But then you have the perspective of time and him being like, oh, I lost everything. And they, they you know, foreshadow that nicely at the beginning. Um, and I just didn't see it coming that that despair and that perspective yeah would kind of make him a more well-adjusted character to the point where he would be like, oh, you know what? I do need to find these creatures not to harness their power, but yeah, to, to fix all this. And then, you know, I, Winters, will accept the winter of my life and, you know, fade off into obscurity. And so, yeah, as a story about them putting the family back together and repairing these, you know, brotherly conflicts and then, you know, also stopping this unbeatable force, I thought it was just really well drawn and is like a good amount of time was spent with all the characters. Mm-hmm. I mean, April probably is like... Of all the prominent turtle characters, it's like I feel like we spend more time with Casey in this. Mm-hmm. Um, April's still like badass and very capable, but she's not as much of like the most engaged character yeah, as yeah. I was expecting, maybe especially having Sarah Michelle Geller on the voice. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, the gripes f- uh, for me on this would be very few and far between. And yeah, like you were, we were talking about the animation, and it's like this isn't the most state of the art animation I've ever seen, certainly. Um, but I just thought the way that they expressed it, the way they used it, it's like even though there are times where you're like, yeah, th- like these could be more detailed or more realistic looking, it never took away from it. They yeah. always had a really great sense of motion and just imagery. Like it felt like well informed by the graphic novels and stuff like that and the other media, you know, the live action stuff too. Um, and there are just so many sequences that, again, even though you're watching something that's a bit fun and whimsical, still pack a punch, you know? Yeah, no, and there were a lot of iconic shots, too, just, like, yeah. with them in the shadows. Uh, Leo, like, blending in, camouflage in the jungle. Um, kind of did actually remind me a little bit of the Predator. Also, too, just sure. going back to that reference where I said Casey was, like, Captain America jumping into the water. Yeah. It's funny, it was Chris Evans who's voicing yeah. him. Like, hey, it is Captain America. Yeah, that was a good um, catch. But no, you make a. You didn't re- know that. <laughs> I really didn't it know it was Chris. No, no, no. Bad. I, I really bad. didn't know it was Chris. I actually, I was under the impression it was. Uh, oh, David Goyer worked on that. Oh. Uh, okay. I was, uh, I was under the impression it was again. The voice wasn't hitting me. I'm like, Wait, is this Freddie Prince Jr.? It doesn't sound like Freddie <laughs> Prince Jr. Um, I thought it was Freddie Prince Jr. before we had started the film. I didn't look at the cast. Um, I always had known Sarah Michelle Gellar was in this, but I did not know any of the other voice cast. But. I didn't hear Chris Evans, so when I had said that, I, I really was just making a Captain America reference yeah. without knowing it was Chris Evans. I do love the point that you make about Winters, though. Like, Because when we saw him, we're like, oh, this must be the bad guy. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought it was just going to be some generic type bad guy. And also, I'm not going to lie, and I know people in the Gym comments are, are going to people in the comments are going to say we've seen Shredder done to, of course. Obviously, I would have loved to have seen Shredder. That would have been great, especially in the vein of this film. But the way they went about Winters, like you said, were like, you know, I, at first, I mean, I thought he was going to just use these characters. I mean, yeah, I know he wanted to, you know, I, th- I thought like you, he was going to harness these characters, like trying to harness their powers and not understand like, no, he just wants to be free of this curse. And like, yeah, it, it, I just thought like it, it's a lot deeper than I was expecting. And I was not, I'm just like shell shocked without no pun intended <laughs> that they that they went that route but it was i was pleasantly surprised i was like okay this is again i always like Shre- you know shredder bebop rocksteady krang baxter but i was rather moved by the storyline they went with with this villain because again i was just a eh, generic rich bad guy i want to use this power and harness it somehow for my nefarious deeds i'm like 
this was actually surprisingly well done. Yeah, and I mean, one supported the other. Because, yeah, it's like, you know, there are iconic characters that you maybe miss from this, but personally, just mm -hmm. as, again, I kind of expect to see all these people now in any turtle thing, mm -hmm. uh, unless it's an offshoot. So this being sort of a moment, I believe this was like the first uh, CG animated and theatrically released animated mm -hmm. CG Turtles movie or whatever. Yeah. And it seems like you would want to make this a bit of a punctuation point. And so, yeah, it's like even though I personally really like that they were at the beginning, they were like, we vanquished Shredder. We've done that. And, and that's settled. And now we're moving on to something totally different. And, and yeah, it's like even though I wouldn't want this to be like forever and never see Shredder again, I, I was happy that we got to do something that clears the way, especially, you know, this sure. was made in 2007. So the sensibility is a little bit different and it's allowed to just breathe as a story. Not that that's not that there's anything wrong with the more kinetic styles of the here and now and the more referential mm -hmm. uh, style of the here and now. But, yeah, I like that it was contained to that and that they did create this hierarchy of like you had Winters who became something of an actual character, who had a story with his warriors uh, that mirrors or at least complements what's going on between the turtles because they can't resolve their family squabble either and they can't see eye to eye. Um, and, you know, I, I bought, even though the stone warriors aren't really that <laughs> well fleshed out or right, anything right. like that, you know, I still bought their whole thing of like, well, yeah. we just got, you've been here this whole time. We yeah. just came back to life, but yeah. we're also like these <laughs> red-eyed stone beasts. <laughs> and so, you know, you get the more overt villainy from where they're coming from. And yeah. then the monsters are just just behaving by their nature. And so they create the fun and games of all that. I, I, don't, I don't even think it was, to your point, I don't even think it was necessary to flesh out the, those. I, I got the point pretty quickly. And yeah. just through winters, like I could kind of see where they were going with that anyways but um i also too just again getting back to the whole family dynamic too i i really enjoyed the relationship that we saw between casey and Raphael. you know whenever yeah. Raphael felt there was nothing he could do uh in terms of relating anything of his frustrations uh per se to his family mm -hmm. he could always go back to casey yeah so and i, I love that they have that type of relationship uh also too there was that one scene <laughs> where Raphael, uh, you know, felt he had failed be after Leo had been captured, and then you have that great moment with uh, Sen or, uh, Sen well, yeah, Sensei Splinter, mm -hmm. uh, just telling him, you know, the whole thing about, hey, you might not be one of my favorite students, but that does not mean you're not one of my favorite I sons. Like that. that was great Such dialogue, a great moment. but like at the end of the day, just like yes, he's he's their teacher, but he's their father too. So oh, yeah. and I just I, I love that they really were able to execute on the family dynamic, and that's. For me, I mean, yes, look, I, I love the fighting. I okay. love when they go up against Shredder, Krang, and all these dudes. Of course, that's that's the... But to me, the heart of the Turtles is the family dynamic. Oh, yeah. And when you can nail that, all the other stuff is just... It's icing on the cake for me. Oh, yeah. There, I mean, there's stuff that about this that could be more fleshed out. But in the, in the hierarchy of priorities, yeah. I thought they got everything right. And, yeah, the family stuff, it gives you all the tensions you mm -hmm. want. You get to watch them fight a little bit. But then, yeah, you get some heartfelt moments. You get some moments that really are true to the cores of the characters. And, yeah, you get your whole night uh, stalker thing or whatever he's called. Night, night watcher. Um, you know, which does to me kind of harken to some of that Ronin stuff too. And then yeah, it's like you have the stuff with Karai and you have the foot and and they're not really characters that much, but it's fun to have the foot kind of semi fighting alongside. And, and yeah, that's uh uh Zhang Zi or, or Zi. No, is uh, the name below Mitchell Whitfield. Do you recognize that actor? Uh It's my cousin, my cousin Vinny. Oh, hey. He's uh he's uh Ralph Macchio's buddy who got a uh, he was um, under uh, arrest with uh, Ralph Macchio. Oh, okay, sweet. And that, yeah. Dang. So, fun oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. I recognize him now. He's like, what about everything we talked about? <laughs> You're fired. I want him. Oh. The the cat, the voice cast in this, so good. Oh yeah. I really, I mean, I haven't. And Mako Splinter, I really enjoyed him as well. Um, I have not looked into it. I don't think there was a sequel. If there was, let us know in the comments. But I don't believe there was. Which to me is actually really sad because I would have loved to have seen a sequel in, in this particular universe. Obviously, I know we got so many different media mediums of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I'm so grateful for. But I would have loved to have continued on in this universe per oh, yeah. se. I mean, this I really really enjoyed this. And again, like I said, coming into this, I was so disappointed uh, in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. And at the time, I was only five, and I was huh. still disappointed. I will say I this: I I've not. <laughs> 
I have not told many people, uh, hardly anyone ever knows this, and this is not a meek loading thing, but one positive thing came, in, to get a little off topic, one positive thing came out of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. So there was a scene in that movie, I forgot which turtle, might have been Raphael, who gave CPR to the kid who had, like, he was uh, from uh, breathing in smoke from fire. Yeah, he couldn't breathe anymore, and Raphael gave him mouth-to-mouth CPR. The point, anyways, Hot. I'm trying to make, the point I'm trying to make, my mother, when I was six years old, was running out of breath. And I remember what I had seen from that movie, and I had huh. I was give, I gave her CPR, sure. and I, I I saved her life, and uh, I and the amount of time I was doing the CPR was enough time for the ambulance to get there, and they told me I saved her life, and my mother asked me uh, when she was like able you know functioning and able to talk again, she's like, how did you know how to do that? I said from because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. So as much as I bag on that movie, I I will always be grateful for that. There's my little. Uh, off-topic tidbit for the day but um again coming into this movie like i said when i saw the trailer and the promos i'm like i don't want to see an anime i want to see, i want rectification you know i want redemption for teenage mutant ninja well, well, 3 owed. no not that but i just i wanted a live action film so i didn't give this one a chance i which was not fair on me but on the flip side i'm glad i got to react to you it with you up, Andrew. i know but i, I stuck with me. i actually did mess up because i i really did enjoy it. it's actually one of my favorite versions i know it's really uh i i just fresh off watching it so i might not feel this way tomorrow but it's one of my favorite versions of teenage mutant ninja Turtles. seriously i really i really mean that i i really enjoyed, no, I enjoyed this the, film the heck out of this yeah it was really good well guys what did you think of tmnt 2007 leave your thoughts down below as well as any other turtle related media you'd like us to check out provided we haven't already <laughs> seen it or something like that uh like subscribe keep a follow on andrew wherever he watch watch andrew most at the real rejects, but also watch him wherever else he might pop up on the internet. I can think of maybe one or two channels. And hey, before we get out of here, why don't we shout out a patron? Mikhail Linden, you were chosen for a very special purpose because we figured out which turtle you would be. Andrew, who, we, 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 like, who is he in our turtle club right now? Who is Mikhail Linden? Well, I mean, what is the only possible choice? We have all four turtles taken already, but if I had to substitute him for one, he's McCrang. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Sure. You got it. <laughs> you got it. You read my mind. Yes. <laughs> As always, John. I think you know which one I'm thinking of. I think we all Definitely know. Definitely Raphael. You're Mikhail. Oh, uh, you're Mikhail Atello. You're Mikhail O'Neill. <laughs> I like that one. We're going to get to everybody except for the person you think we're trying exactly. to get. You're Mikhail Jones. We didn't want to be obvious. We He's didn't want to be. Jones. I like these names. These are good. Names. Yeah, man. He's Master Splinden. <laughs> Splinden. He's anyway, Mikhail, we love you. And uh, we would uh, uh, roll around in any kind of ooze if you <laughs> told us to. Uh, you know, you are much like a master splinter in that you keep us grounded with your wisdom and your calm energy. And, uh, you know, you're also like Shredder because I imagine that you know how to use cutlery and <laughs> can really play a mean guitar. <laughs> and, uh, and hey, Regardless of whatever else, I think we can all agree that pizza's great, so this shout-out has gone swimmingly. Love you, buddy. Keep your pledge on file, and we'll catch you next month. Hope you're doing well out there. And uh, cowabunga, dude!